And hi everyone, and welcome back to another Dr. Phone YouTube video. For a long time, I have seen people struggle with their operating systems after upgrading to a newer iOS version. They regret the upgrade and are desperate to downgrade their iOS device without using iTunes, but they are unaware of how to do so. I'm going to show you how to do it in just a few simple steps. I'll also tell you how the basic requirements for downgrading your iOS and device, and of course, to avoid risk, you'll need to back up so that you don't have to lose any kind of important data in the process, so I'm going to show you how to do that as well. We know the drill. Spare some seconds of your time, click on the thumbs up icon, and if you're new to this channel, you should kindly click on that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as so you can get notified whenever the uploads come up about these educational videos. Now with that said, let's jump right in. So for part one, why you want to downgrade iOS in the first place. It's still pretty amusing that people believe that a newer OS version is always better. If you're watching this video right now, you've probably noticed that old still rocks. Now, people want to downgrade iOS to an older version for a variety of reasons. I'll tell you in installments, so do make sure to stay tuned for that. Apple is absolutely notorious for including restrictions in new versions of iOS, and downgrading iOS means that users get the benefits of the older version of iOS. Now, the new version of iOS will block apps that are compatible with older versions of iOS, causing significant inconvenience to users. Users may dislike the changes in the new iOS version, which is totally possible. And when the new version of iOS is released, it may have lag and bugs, and many people are dissatisfied with this. Now, when compared to the new version of iOS, the older version will run more stably and smoothly on iOS devices. So those are going to be the possible reasons that you want to do away with a new version of iOS and settle for an older version. So I'm going to move forward to the next step. So for part two, the tools needed to downgrade iOS. When you want to downgrade iOS to an older version, you will need to prepare several components. In general, you'll need to jailbreak your iPhone to downgrade it. The firmware's overall usage is not only cracked, but the SHSH blobs are also saved. Users can use this to ensure that the firmware remains unchanged when downgraded to lower versions. All of this is intended to improve the usability of the phone in question. The process is complex and difficult to understand for the majority of users and it is therefore recommended to seek assistance from all blogs and online resources for that. What we're going to need is going to be SHSH or signature hash, 128 bytes of RSA, and tiny umbrella. So for part three, now back up iPhone data before downgrading iOS. It is critical to back up iPhone files before downgrading iOS to an older version, as the process may result in data loss. Although creating an iPhone backup in iTunes is a viable option, this iPhone backup does not include any multimedia files. As a result, if you want to back up iPhone uh, music, photos, and other files through a computer, you should use the third-party Dr. Phone phone backup app. This program is actually used uh, to manage iPhone, iPad, iPod, and Android files and can back up iPhone multimedia files to a computer with a single click. So all that you need to do now is just relax and I'm going to walk you through the process of backing up iPhone files to a computer before downgrading iOS on your iPhone. So for part four, how to back up iPhone files before downgrading iOS. So step one is going to be to download and install the Dr. Phone Phone Backup iPhone Backup tool on your computer. So that's going to be linked in the description. And then launch it and choose backup and restore from the tool list. And then using the USB cable, connect your iPhone to your computer. And then next, you want to select device data backup and restore from the menu. After selecting the contents to backup, simply choose a destination folder on your computer to save the music files, and then click the backup button to begin backing up iPhone music to your computer. And if you follow the third step, your task should have been completed. Now, when the backup process is complete, you will have the backup files from your iPhone on your computer. And you can safely back up iPhone files to your computer using Dr. Phone Phone Backup iPhone Transfer before downgrading iOS to an older version. And for part five, jailbreak iPhone to downgrade to older iOS version. Now, the first step in downgrading iOS is jailbreaking your iPhone. So please keep in mind that after jailbreaking your iPhone, your device's warranty will be null and void. Simply restore your iPhone using a standard iPhone backup to reclaim your warranty. So in the next part, I'll show you how to jailbreak iPhone to downgrade to an older version of iOS, which will be useful if you want to use an older iOS version on your device. So 
for part six, how to downgrade iOS version on iPhone. So to downgrade your phone's iOS is not really as difficult as some people try to make it sound. I will show you what to do in a few simple steps. So step one is going to be to download Tiny Umbrella from, from the URL. And that is going to be shown right over here on screen as well. And once the installation is finally complete, launch Tiny Umbrella to proceed from there. Then connect your iPhone to your computer using a USB cable, and Tiny Umbrella will detect the device automatically. Click on the Save SHSH button to save the 126-bit encryption onto your device. And below, at the Save SHSH Blomp button, there's going to be a TSS server-related button. And to proceed, the user must then press this button. And when the server has completed its work, the user will receive the error 1015. Select the exit recovery option from the recovery devices menu. And then the user must then go to the advanced option and uncheck the highlighted box to complete the process from there. So please pay close attention to this. When the process is finally complete, the user must save the SHSH blobs again they will be able to downgrade the firmware as a result of this. And the device is then restarted to downgrade the firmware automatically. So that's it guys. After watching this video, I should assume that you should be able to downgrade your iOS device on your own without visiting a repair center or anything like that. And but most importantly, you should remember to back up your data so that you don't end up biting your fingers after carrying out the downgrade. You should use the Doctor Phone app to get a fast and reliable backup service. The app is designed just for you after all. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to tell us in the comment section if you know of any other ways that you can use to downgrade your iOS device without using iTunes. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly do that now as well. So until next time, enjoy.